This video is going to go over the major endocrine organs, but also do a little review on the location of some of the main organs and structures, particularly in the body torso. But let's go over some of the endocrine organs, starting from the brain. So we have two major endocrine organs in the brain. Let's take part of this brain out. Put it down here. And we can see on this brain, the pituitary gland here and the pineal gland here. Now remember the brain had this hypothalamus area here coming off of the thalamus. And this hypothalamus area is actually the part of the brain in control of the endocrine system starting with the pituitary gland, which is considered the master gland, because that controls a lot of the other endocrine glands. And this little pineal gland here, little P-shaped structure, uh, posterior to the thalamus here. I can also see these on this um, sagittal head model here. And what I wanna point out here is that the pituitary is nicely protected because it sits down in this depression in the skull that you learned as the cella tercica. Sits right in there. And this would be the hypothalamus area of the brain. Come back here behind the thalamus would be that nice little pineal gland there. All right, let's come down the neck now. Put this one away and we'll come down the neck. Now on the neck we see this nice U-shaped uh, thyroid gland here and it's right below the thyroid cartilage which we can feel in our neck region on our own bodies. Thyroid gland, very important endocrine gland. Now if I could take that off on the posterior of the thyroid gland would be the parathyroid gland. I can't take that one off but here's a model thyroid cartilage by my thumb and in this brownish thyroid gland. So I'm going to take that down here and I'm going to flip it over and we can see those dots on the back which are the parathyroid gland there. And there would be two other ones on the other side but they took the thyroid off there so we can't see those. All right now we're going to come down into the thorax region. Now, just looking at the thorax region, remember it's between the neck and the diaphragm muscle, which we can see part of here. And we can see the vena cava and the aorta right there on top of the heart. And of course we have the two lungs. So let's take the lungs off. see the heart nicely now. Let's take that off. Now I take them off so you can see inside the thorax here. Now you can see three big vessels here. The trachea, most anterior, and behind that the muscular esophagus, and then behind that the aorta. The aorta is very deep for protection, but you can see the esophagus and aorta kind of travel alongside each other there. The vena cava would be here. We took that off with the heart. So three things are going to go through the diaphragm. The vena cava, esophagus, and aorta. And you can see the diaphragm uh, get a good feel for that because that goes all the way across the body, right below the ribs, right to left, anterior to posterior, all the way across. Now we'll get down into the abdomen. Now, in the abdomen, you have to remember, there's three structures mainly on the right, and there's two structures mainly on the left. The rest of the structures are either in the middle or they're bilateral. So the three structures mainly on the right, the liver and the gallbladder, right under the diaphragm, and we're going to have a little appendix 
back here, which I can't see right now. And then the organs, mainly on the left, particularly right under the diaphragm, is the stomach and the spleen. So I usually remember this as, um, let's get silky socks right under the diaphragm. L for liver, let's get gallbladder, silky stomach, socks, spleen. That'll help you with that. Now let's go ahead and take some of these off now. Now the stomach, I'm trying to take this off without everything falling out. You take that out. If you have trouble remembering how to place that back in, the stomach is shaped like a J. That's how you remember how it goes. See the J there? And then you could just put it right back in like that. So we'll take that out and we'll take the liver out. Okay, now we're starting to see the pancreas now, right here. The pancreas is another endocrine organ. It's also gonna be a digestive organ. And you can see it's pretty much right in the middle there. We're gonna go ahead and take off the large and small intestines. And while we do that, I'm gonna point out that the appendix is down here on the lower right. Okay, so I'm taking that out, flipping it, and we can see that little extension there behind the large intestine, number five. That's the appendix. All right, we'll put that aside, and let's look at this pancreas again. Major endocrine organ. And I'd like to point out here that the pancreas is exactly in the middle of your torso, in every dimension. It's exactly in the middle. Now we're talking about torso from neck down to hips. Exactly in the middle, right to left. Exactly in the middle, anterior to posterior. And exactly in the middle, superior, inferiorly. Every way. Right, left, middle. Superior, inferior, middle. Anterior, posterior, middle. It's a fish in the middle of your body. Now, let's take that off so we can see the kidneys. The kidneys here, you can see, right and left. And now we see another main endocrine gland, the adrenal gland, right here. It's like a cap on each kidney. Now, renal means kidney, so ad means on top. So the adrenal glands are right on top of the kidneys. And what else we see here? Of course, now we see the vena cava and aorta traveling together down the abdomen. Then we're going to get to the endocrine glands, the reproductive endocrine glands. So here, we're down in the pelvic region now. That is a female. And what we see here, you have to look closely, is ovaries on here, and also one on this side. They're the ovaries, and we have fallopian tubes coming out here that are gonna lead to the uterus. Now, at the male, of course, the endocrine glands of the male. I'll just take this out real quick so you can see the ovaries there in, in yellow, right there. Well, we can change this to a male. Here, if we can find another part. Okay, let's just take this. And science will probably be able to do this one day. This simply, just take male part, stick them in there, sell them in. Could be male one day, female another day. Anyway, here we see the male endocrine glands that secrete the male sex hormone testosterone. It would be these testes right here. The ovaries would secrete estrogen. So that covers a lot of the uh, major organs there. Now let's go ahead and put some of this back now. First, we're gonna take the intestines, put them back in. Then we'll take the liver, gallbladder in the upper right, 
Remember I said with stomach, hold it like the J and you can slip that right in there. What did we forget? Anybody notice? We forgot the pancreas. Now remember the spleen goes on the left, so I can't put it like this. Gotta stick it right here, and exactly in the middle. Pancreas and spleen. Now let's see if we can get this back together without it falling out. Large and small intestines. Large around the exterior. Small in the middle. I'm gonna try to stick this liver in there. Liver and gallbladder on the right. Right on the diaphragm. And now I got my stomach. Slip that in there. Okay, it's looking good. So now all we do is just put the heart back there. And we got the, the lungs. Now the left lung is a little bit smaller and has this indentation in it because remember the heart protrudes over to the left. So the apex or tip of the heart is always on the left side. And the right lung is a little bit bigger. Now I will mention that there are other organs that secrete hormones. I just went over the main ones, pituitary and pineal, the head, the thyroid and parathyroid in the neck. We came down and went over the pancreas and the adrenal glands and the abdomen. And then the reproductive ones with the testes and ovaries. But there are other organs that secrete hormones. Even the heart is gonna secrete a hormone. The stomach's gonna secrete a hormone. The intestines, the kidneys, they're not considered major endocrine glands, but they do secrete hormones. We covered the main endocrine glands and we're covering the main hormones, but we'll get to the other ones too when we cover those systems. So I hope this was helpful for you today.